Open your hips. Windy today, my friends. This is the sequel to the hip opening video I did last week. We'll put the link right up there. Start with that one first. This one definitely goes a lot deeper. Open your hips, stretching your hamstrings, basically stretching your entire body. Grab my best-selling book, Power Yoga for Athletes. Wherever books are sold, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, or go to SeanVigFitness.com. All right, make sure you're warmed up for this routine, and let's get loose. Last week, this week. Man, it got really windy all of a sudden. Put the cap on, got a little chill in the air. We'll see if it gets too bad, we'll, I'll just turn over to a voiceover. These stretches are very active, so they keep moving. You move throughout the stretches, barely ever standing still. Lots of breathing, lots of focus. Great for men and women. All right, let's start with wide-legged. Let me leave my socks on because it's a little chilly. Wide-legged, forward, full. Bring the feet out. Let's bring it down. Grab the opposite arm with each hand and sway side to side. Keep your knees a little bit soft. Relax the neck in stretching to keep it safe to keep it effective use your breath so your exhales always lead you a little further into the stretch back and forth neck is loose let the gravity tug you down all right two more breaths the rockies are angry today my friend good sink it down sink it down all right, going in to the catcher's squat. Bring those feet nice distance apart, hands together. You want to crouch down and use the elbows to open the hips. Shoulders back and down. Press. You can also press a little bit more in the top and really pry them open. Sink your tailbone down. Let's take five deep breaths. Breathing can be in the nose, out the nose, in the nose, out the mouth. Make sure you're breathing to those deep abdominals. All right. Open them up. Addie's barking at a biker. Two more breaths. Open, open. Okay, stay here or take the hands down to the outsides of the feet. Grab them and bring the fingers under the toes and press back a little further. It might look weird, but if we all do it together, then anyone who's not doing it looks strange. Five breaths. Ooh, stretches the knees, the hips, the back. Press back, there we go. Grab those, those little socks there. Two more breaths. And press back a little bit further. Moving, moving a little side to side. Okay, now the fun part, disengage. And let's come down to the butterfly, active butterfly. Take the bottoms of your feet together and we're gonna sweep it back and forth. Use the hands on the feet. Use the elbows to press open those hips. Go side to side. So you're getting a nice mobility stretch also in your lower back. Mobility. Moving effortlessly. Taking out the, the knots, the tension. Let's take it back and forth four more times. So here's one. Good. Press down, press down. Two. Oh, I like to just hang out there for a moment. Three. You can do these stretches anywhere at any time. Comment below where are you doing these stretches from in the world. Maybe you're an astronaut. Maybe you're in space. Okay. Now take two breaths. Open the hips a little more. Sink it down with the exhales. Press down. Inhale. Lift up just a little bit. And one more time. Press it down. Good. Loose hips are happy hips. Let's do the fire log. I'll mirror you. Take your... There's Addy Fuzz. Uh, left leg. Ankle on top. And remember, if these are too much, I flashed that link earlier to the other hip opener. Start there and work your way. You gotta practice. You gotta practice. Now, fire log. You can stay up here or walk off of this top leg. Now, the active part, I want you to just move it side to side. You're gonna, with the movement, you bring all this, this release in different areas. You're incorporating different muscles, tendons, different parts. Good. Seek it out. I always like to say be a detective of your body. Do some uh, investigating. Find those tight spots. Get rid of them because the looser we are, the more flexible we are, the better our performance is in every sport, every activity, everything. <sighs> okay. Oh, that, that was fun, wasn't it? Let's go to the other side. Shake it out real quick. <sighs> Fire log. 
<sighs> dun dun dun. All right, Addy's guarding the set. So we bring it over that leg and side to side. Feel free to walk this bottom foot a little further forward. Good, back and forth. Lately I've been filming a lot of extra flexibility training um, workouts. And they don't have to just be flexibility training. You could take a, a weight training workout, dumbbells, barbells. You can take power yoga. You can take Pilates and just add in these extra stretches as well, no matter what you're doing. I love doing pull-ups. I do pull-up squats and push-ups a lot. I'll do them, and then in between, I'll add different stretches. Keep your body loose, especially when your body is warm. Okay. Now, let's return to the butterfly. Give you a little side angle here. Bottoms feet together. And we're going to walk the hands forward as far as you can. Each exhale, slide a little bit further forward. Use your upper body weight to smush, uh, smush those knees down. Five breaths. You can walk forward a little bit. See how I'm doing this? I'm pulling forward. Ah, there we are. Just watching the, there's so much wildlife around. I wouldn't be surprised if an elk just pops up behind there. They do a lot. One more breath. Stretch, 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 stretch. Now, we get a little more advanced. I do this a lot when I'm at night, when I'm watching something on TV, usually, you know, what I, I like to watch old shows. And spit back there. Now, option, go back to the fire log. So left leg on top, or you can also put that left angle on top then put the other one on top and we got ourselves a stretch here there's a uh, coma in my back pocket you never know when you might need it now hinge it forward okay now side to side as you go forward again movement moving within the stretches breathing let's do three more breaths you're always welcome this is your video now you can take it anywhere. You're always welcome to pull the stretches longer. Pause the video or just study these and take them with you, of course. They're yours. Take them on the go. All right, now walk it forward. Go forward, walk. And, oh, this is interesting. Forearms. I'm going to scooch back so you can see me. <laughs> I feel like dwarf. All right, there we go. Shoulders back. We got a little uh, extreme butterfly plank here. Pull forward a little bit. Again, this is adding on more. You could stay with the fire log. You could stay with the butterfly. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. Good. Take one more breath. Woo! Yeah. So nice. We almost don't want to get back up. All right. <laughs> Come forward. Switch. Other side. Take your opposite ankle on top. This side is much tighter for me. So we might not do all the theatrics. But we might because it's amazing within a few breaths how much we open up into that stretch. Addy, could you bring me a thesaurus? Oh, here we go. All right, forward. Breathe into the hip, the hip flexors, the hips, the inner thighs, the glutes. A little side to side action. Awesome. Great for men and women. Anyone, anyone can benefit from these. Be smart about it. Always do them when your muscles are warm after a workout, a walk, or whatnot, or during. Definitely elongates our, our time doing our favorite activities, sports, activities, whatever. Okay, now option, let's see how this goes. Okay, walk it back. Neighbors, as always, are going, the heck? Okay, oh, see this tie's a little tighter. Let me know if my hip detaches. Just let me know if it rolls down the hill. All right, five breaths. Little movement here, side to side. Whew. We're breaking new ground. This is exciting. You, you know those people in your life that need to stretch more, need to open their hips. You want them to, to do better. Show them this workout. Get them on this workout. Share it. Share it. Share it along. 
Woo. Uh, I'm gonna do two more breaths here. Really drag forward a little bit. Okay. Uh, come on up. Bring it forward uh, and unravel. Ooh. <laughs> Let the pressure out there, shake it out for a moment. And we're coming to the frog. Let's see how this one goes. I don't have a lot of space. Basically, frog starts as the um, child's pose. Let's put the camera over here. Take the knees out, walk the feet out, and press back. From here, oh hell, I'll just go right into the elk poop. It's the name of my next elm. And we smush out here. Feet can draw out. And it's up to you. Keep the arms down. You can keep the forearms down to control the movement. Getting sexy. All right, there we go. Five breaths. Again, move back and forth a little bit. It, of course, it might, you know, it might feel uncomfortable doing this, but you're in the privacy wherever you're working out. Stretch it out. The knees, you feel a little popping in there, in the spine. <laughs> yeah, sorry, right, one more breath. Stretch it, stretch it, open the hips. Oh, that's, that's just lovely. Just lovely. Okay. Oh, pop it up. Always time for a shake. Not a milkshake, but just shake out the hips. Let's go to pigeon. Cannot do a hip opener, cannot do a full body stretch routine without some kind of pigeon. Bring the right leg forward, left leg back. Now, experiment really walking this right foot further forward really bring it out I'm never happy with where the camera is forgive me there we are now here I want you to walk off of this right leg smush it down we're gonna roll it back and forth yes we are roll rolling 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 good walk that right foot a little further forward Now let's favor ourselves a little stretch forward. I want you to exhale forward, smush down, and then walk the hands back. Lift up nice and tall, called Proud Pigeon. Let's do it three more times. Slide forward, and then draw back up. Lift. Each time, bring that foot a little further forward. Two more times. Yowzas! Lift. One more time. I might be chilly, but my hips are red hot. Like the Motley Crue song. Lift it up. Lift it up. Okay. Let us go to... Oh, I see what this does here. This is a little uh, lunge drag. Take the right foot out. Drop that left side down. We're just going to drag forward. There we are. You can move back and forth massaging that hip flexor feel free to if you're able take this hip and open it a little bit outward go back and forth kind of feel it out a little seesaw action admire your socks there's some poop on my sock <sighs> definitely the grungiest channel Sean V Fitness <laughs> all right my friends let us do our pigeon excitement on the other side. Left leg forward. <sighs> what if we got some rain coming? Looks like it, but in the Rockies it changes so quickly. Just gone. Okay. So off that left leg, walk that foot forward. What am I doing? Okay. Here we go. And roll it. Roll that leg back and forth. There we are. Massage out the demons. Massage out the junk. You notice we always do both sides. Balance. Want to even it out so we're not favoring one side. I have a client, Tom. Very dear man. Been with me for about five months now. I think he's, uh, he's in his 60s. I think he's 70. Great shape. Looks like Lloyd Bridges, which is awesome. And uh, he had a dirt bike accident years ago, I think back in the 60s, hurt his knee, but he favored the other side so much that now he has an issue with his hip, his left hip. 
so when he comes using class this morning did a lot of hip openers really loosens him up but because he hurt his his right knee he favored it you know pushes into the other side it's interesting how our bodies work that way and now the knee is fine but he hmm, has a problem with the hip anyway moral of the story stay balanced and be careful on dirt bikes all right four times slide forward smush it out smush it out and lift it up shoulders back again exhale slide good I want to make this as comprehensive as possible I like stretch videos that last at least 15 minutes to really dig in and one more time lift 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 and stretch beautiful now our wide lunge is calling take that left foot down drop that and let's go forward and back forward and back right here good you could drop all the way down if you like as always you listen to your body There we go. I'm going to do one more breath here. This feels so good. Woo, all right. This calls for another shake. Shake it out. <laughs> oh, that was a good shake. Shake, rattle, and roll. All right. Inverted hurdle stretch. Take your left leg forward. Bring your right knee in. Woo. This one, let's get a little... Um, let's get a little accommodated with this one right here. Let's get to know it. We're going to rock forward and back. Stretching this knee, you can walk it further forward. Take some of the pressure off or bring it back. Big hip flexor, big hip, inner thigh. Stretching this side too. God, I'm showing so much leg. I apologize to all the friendly folk who are listening. All right. Now, staying here or with each exhale, I want you to walk those hands forward. Walk them forward. This one definitely a little tight for me. That's good. I, I want to find the tightness. Again, I seek it out. I want to find those areas. It's, it's gold. It's, it's, go, it's a gold mine when you find those because you can do something about it right away. Good. Drag forward a little bit. Of course, this routine culminates in the box splits, the straddle stretch. I also did a video a couple weeks ago how to do the splits. If I remember, I'll put the link up there. When you're done with this, go there and work on the splits too. It's another routine adding so many different stretches to loosen up your body. I mean, we aim for the splits, but it's the journey along the way, how much improvement we get. All right, take the hands down, press it forward, and oh yeah, this is, let me just put my hand in that pine there. And we sink down right here. <sighs> Smells like spring. <sighs> Good. Open a little wider. <sighs> Let's do one more breath. <sighs> Ooh, yeah. Stretching for the average, average person. Okay. Now let's unravel here. We're just going to take it to the other side. So bend this other knee in. Leg goes out. There's so much more. There's so many other things to do. But the good news is, we'll do that in the next video. I think we got enough to handle right here. Good. Situate yourself. Take a little side to side. Definitely feel it in here. Your quads, your beautiful quads, the tops of your legs get so much work. I bike about four times a week. I hike every day just about. Quads are always working. The hamstrings, for some reason, they have better PR. They get the attention. But when we have an opportunity to really stretch that quad, we go for it. If you ever get a massage and, uh, they put that elbow into your quad. Oh, man, it's like a grenade. All right, now walk forward a little bit. Five breaths. Ooh. Okay, you may stay here or we come up and we walk forward. I'm just gonna set my hands down here and listen to my body, find that spot. Happy hips. There we are. Ah, the earth. Erda. Terra firma. You must be Doc Holliday. 
<clears throat> That's the rumor. All right, one more breath. Okay, my friends. I think it is time, drum roll please, to go into the box splits, into the straddle stretch. We're gonna come out as wide as you can. Always use the hands to move your way along. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> and now, I'm gonna pull that down, and we're gonna walk forward. Each exhale. I want you to actively pull into, let me turn the camera down just a, a smidge here. Can I do it from this pose? Let's see. Has this ever been done before? Okay. Ooh, little blood sport there. Okay. Dukes, dukes. Okay. Here we go. Keep walking forward. You can also take the hands out to the legs open up. Love the box splits, love the straddle stretch. So many variations, but in the end, we're opening up the circulation, the groin, the psoas, the hips, the hamstrings. Uh, just bring the head down. Two more breaths. Okay. Now, I'm gonna walk up. Got stuff on me. Let's take a little side bend to the right. We're gonna do that full straddle one more time. And then you're gonna walk out of here ooh, like a wet noodle. Ah. Okay. Lace the fingers together behind you like this. Let's open the chest. Little mudra. <laughs> and hinge forward. So we're using the core a little bit. Got the arm reaching up with the inhale, got the arms, and then exhale, hinge. Dig into those hips, my friends. Get the circulation. Get things running smoothly. This is like a tune-up for your car. All right. Bring it up. Ooh, shake it out. Then one more time. Let us, let us go forward. Here we are. If you're able, this time bring the hands under the legs. Five breaths. Okay, one more. I'm going to do one more. Is this so good? Ah. All right. Holds there. Or lift it up. Lift it up. Wait. <laughs> Come back up. Go down the hill. Take the hands forward. Little straddle plank here. Oh, well. You think you're, think you're doing well. Then you lift up and you realize, oh, I got a little more space to go. There we are. Sink it down. One more breath. Okay. Come on down. Oh. And now, bring those legs in. Oh, my friends, shake it out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Sean Vig, SeanVigFitness.com. Um, as always, make sure you uh, subscribe down there right now, like this video, and share it on your social media. Tag me at Sean Vig Fitness. I love the flexibility training. I want to get you on the program. I recommend doing these just about every day. Practice them for about five to 10 deep breaths or 30 to 60 seconds or add the movement like we did. As I said, I'm, I'm handing you the routine. It's all yours. Wherever you are in the world, let me know. Comment below uh, where you are. You're in the States? You're in Europe? You're in Asia? Where are you? Let me know. I think we got a little snow coming down here also. Fantastic. And uh, still got snow. We got more snow on the way. I mean, it's April in the Rockies, so we got about another two months of, of snow coming. But always a pleasure, my friends. Share it on. Subscribe, like, I said that and get power yoga for athletes. Now here is what it's really all about right there. What do you think, Addies?